Hello, my name is Carolina. This is Carolina's Closet, and today you are embarking with me to a three day journey on making a knit dress for a festival. <laughs> Let's do this. Before I direct to you to pass me making the dress, I just want to say consider following me on Instagram, TikTok or like Instagram and TikTok, or like Instagram and TikTok, and subscribing to this channel, it would mean a lot to me. I'm just starting, so yeah, it would mean a lot. Roll the video. Um, hi, let me set the scene to you guys, the sun's in my face. It's Tuesday, it's four in the afternoon, and I have hopes. I have dreams and hopes, and I want to make three, not one, not two, but three outfits for a festival that I'm going to on the weekend. It's just like a fun little festival. It has, you know, some international people coming over. I feel very excited. And we have Dirty Cat and my wee Cyrus. That's so fun. Um, and I'm going there and I don't have anything planned to wear. And I just want to create things. So the plan, the plan it's a very loose plan, but the plan is do some knit samples of like some ideas that I have roughly around in my head. And from there, draw some sketches, just come up with some ideas of what I could do and set my ideas today. Today, it's 4.30, I have plenty of time. Come up the, with the ideas, set them up to so be like, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. And pattern make at least something so that I wake up tomorrow and I can get knitting so this is what I'm I'm hopefully doing right now like next and then and then we'll see you know let we'll just okay so here I'm at my machine and oh by the way this is my yarn and yes I have a lot of it so basically the first thing I want to do is I want to test out this um jacquard thing that I did for my thesis collection and didn't end up using. Um, I wanted to use this with like some orange and yellow and maybe try to do one of those matching sets, like a very like, you know, that like kind of print that is like this. I know I'm very good at explaining. Um, Cause the skirt and like top matching set would be kind of fast for me to do. Um, and also I want to test out some like lace knit, lace knit um techniques and maybe do some like sort of dress <laughs> that's it here is me making a swatch for the first dress that I want to make with that little pattern that I was showing to you guys. Back with a little swatch. I actually really like it. I didn't know if it was going to turn out good, but I like it. I have three options though, and I'm not really, okay, let me just do it. I'm not really sure which color combo I prefer. I really don't, like whenever I look at the tree, of them i think i prefer one of these two but if i look at this pink and orange by itself i think i like it a lot hi it's wednesday morning and i've already failed i set myself to draw out everything that i did that i wanted to do like my tree designs yesterday and i just didn't do that i got my ipad i sat down and i just I was really tired but I did my swatches you can tell that I'm going for a very cohesive color theme um and I know what I want to do for everything I just didn't draw it so these are my swatches for this one I already mentioned I want to do like a body hugging dress with some cutouts I will draw that out in a second okay. and then here I have a little um hi y'all I just want to cut her real fast and spoiler a little bit of the, the video I'm not finishing three designs because it's obvious like I was delusional I thought I really did think I was going to be able to knit three garments in three days for a music festival not happening but just if you're curious my ideas were with these two swatches 
I intended on doing a little dress with some bell sleeves. I saw a picture on Pinterest of a 70s dress and I was inspired by that. And this is what I wanted to do. I have the design here as well. And with this green swatch, I wanted to do a matching set of like a pant with a little cropped top with um, this like loose yarn um, in the middle. And those were my ideas for these swatches that obviously didn't happen but in the throughout the video i might mention the desire to do this second dress um i was very delusional throughout the video i really did believe i was going to be able to do at least two dresses and that didn't happen but this one did and you get to watch my whole process of making the dress with this pattern back to past me yeah now my plan for now is to set my machine in the table because yes i have a separate table for my knitting machine because all the tables that i have in this room are bolted to the wall and they are too thick for my machine because i yeah i cannot just i just can't like put my machine in the table they have to be like on top without like being attached to the table and that's not really good so i'm setting up my table putting my machine on it, I'll draw out, just like roughly sketch my designs and possibly make the pattern for this one before I have to go to my therapy appointment. That will take a while because I have to drive all the way there and then I talk to her and then come back and that takes a while of my day. But yeah, I hope to do all of that now. It's, it's not that late, it's night, I think. So I think I can do that. Let's just, let's just do this. Let's do this. Here's where we're at. So I did my drawings. I think I showed them to you already. I did, um, oh my god. I did design the, these in three colors. Just because, I don't know, I still, I'm not sure. Most people voted for this one in the beginning, but now there are people voting for this one. And I think I like this one better because I just like it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this pink and orange one. Um, and yeah, I'm, I've am i been designing, I'm doing the pattern for it in Chloe, because I usually do this, I get the free dry of Chloe, and I do put my measurements in here, and I um, make the pattern like that. But it's really not necessary for this specific dress, because this is literally just a tube dress with a cutout in the side. So, um, I think when I get back, I'll just measure myself and start knitting because I need to do that. Um, also, I will change something. Instead of doing a long sleeve dress, I'll just do a tube dress with a tube dress with um, gloves instead of, you know, the whole dress. Because I think this is going to be better for my sanity. It's more doable. And I just don't need to have like a long sleeve. As long? A long sleeve dress. I can't have like a normal. Not long sleeve dress. You got it. Hello. I'm back. I got some yarn. As if I didn't need more. <laughs> I have to go on a no buy. Like a yarn no buy. Because I have too much. Anyway, I bought three of these and two of these. Now, there's a problem. The problem is I couldn't find the colors that I wanted in the yarn that I had. So I bought this yarn that is a different yarn and it's a thicker yarn. The good thing about it is that I don't have to double the yarn up like I was doing with the other one because the other one's really thin. The problem is... I will have to do another tension square like these. I just have to redo that. <laughs> That's amazing for me. I love myself. Um, so yeah, um, let's do that. I will spin these yarns, just like balls of yarns, because I cannot work in the machine with them like this. I need to like spin them and make them into like a different kind of agglomeration of yarn <laughs> and then I will just calculate the mini dress the first one and I'll do that I chose to do orange and, and, and pink obviously because I bought orange and yeah so yeah this is my yarn spinning station of my bedroom <laughs> welcome Let's spin some yarn, shall we?
Okay, so really fast here, I'm just showing you how the yarn looks spent in the yarn spinner and the difference between it and the normal skein of yarn. When you pull it, the store-bought yarn, the way it comes, it's, it has more resistance to it and the one that you spin is easier to pull. So it doesn't cause too much trouble when we're in the machine. Yes, I'm in the sun. It's actually hot. And I'm just, you know, I'm just in it for the, the aesthetic. And yeah, I'm doing now a tension square for me to be able to count the stitches and rolls that I need to make the pattern. Should I do a little, I maybe we'll get the camera and do a different angle just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let me show you, I hope you see me, my pattern making process. So we have the front panel. This is the length of the body, the, the thing that I want to do. And the, that measurement that goes across uh, half of the hip. And so here in the cutouts, I'll just like decrease a lot and then increase a lot of stitches. And the back is just, just a trapezoid. And then I have this thing that it will, it will just like kind of unite the both panels. And the sleeve, sorry for interrupting too much. I just want to say that after that, I also mentioned that the sleeve is also like a trapezoid shape with the ribbing in the beginning and in the end and with the hole in the middle and because this is a knit even though it's not the stretchiest knit it's still a knit i wouldn't need to put a zipper on or anything like that just the knit by itself putting it through my hat would be enough for me to put it on now i'll just kind of count the rows and the stitches here and calculate this that i just showed you with my measurements and translated to knit um okay so i have my pattern written down and i have all of my stitches by number written down so i don't have to think thinking here i just wrote down every single row that i have to decrease a stitch in or increase here is the increases i don't I'm not gonna bother to like show the pattern because this is very specific for this pattern that I did in my jacquard with this yarn. So yeah, but it's all written down and I'll just, I'll just knit. So here's the time lapse of me doing the front panel and right here is me coming back from the slit. So I just did the increase, the decreases for the slit and that now I'm going back with the increases to go back from the slit that I just did. I hope it made sense. Did I? Did I? <laughs> oh my god. Guy, I think mm, I'm so happy. I am scared that I there is a possibility that it's a tad too small. I will make the back panel just a little bit um, larger by putting more needles into work so that maybe it compensates the, you know, the front. Um, but I am so happy. Look at, I'm going to do like a close up. I am genuinely happy and it didn't take me too long. I will eat now and then I will um, knit the back and I will be able to close it up. I will be able to see if I want to do the like straps or not. And maybe start the gloves. Probably not. I'll probably just um, leave the gloves for tomorrow. But I really want to close the dress, this dress today so that I have less to do tomorrow and I can actually get into the second dress and that would be 
amazing. Amazing. Yeah, bestie, you won't do that. You, you will not finish the second dress. There is no such thing as a second dress. Not a third dress. It's just one dress. Stop saying that. Stop thinking that. Just, like, quit it. Not happening. I finished the back panel. That I just knit. I'm so happy. This is the back. I'll show you in detail tomorrow. So, yeah, this is it. Now, I did mention, I think in the last clip, that I was going to be finishing this dress right now, like tonight. Um, and I'm not doing that. I will um, do the gloves now. Because I am sick and tired of this jacquard pattern. I think I'm going to stop recording for today. And I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow, tell you if I did anything, what I did. Um, hopefully, I would ha I will have done at least one sleeve. I don't think I can do two, but maybe, I don't know. Um, and yeah. Hi, guys. Good morning. I did finish one sleeve yesterday, and I went to sleep. Now... I regret something in the sleeve, and it's the hole. I should have done it a little bit smaller, but it, if you saw like my design, I did draw the sleeves with holes in them. So, you know, I wanted to stay true to my design. So anyway, <laughs> I did iron the pieces this morning. I think they're gonna fit. So right now, um, my hopes for this morning, finish the sleeve sew everything together do the strap here and do a tension square for the next dress and maybe possibly pattern make the make the pattern for the next dress as well um i'm very confident i'm very happy that elisa will be finishing one dress um for one of the days just a little like insight on how to do this leave with a little hole in the middle there's this thing in the knitting machine called the h and button it's a button that when you touch it like when you click it all the needles that are like all pushed all the way to the front of the machine don't knit so i can knit only one side and then i stop knitting the side i go to the other side and knit the hole off the other side and then i match everything in the middle and close it and close the hole and continue as if i didn't you know stop Here we have the pieces done and clipped so that I can sew them in a sewing machine. Yay! Okay, so um, welcome to my sewing machine. Now I will be um, sewing the side. Um, yeah, I did pin everything. I did like clip everything. And it does seem like it's going to be very tight on me. The reason why it's tied on me is because I did, in fact, forget that I have boobs whilst measuring my um, pattern, which kind of sucks. Um, it's kind of a dumb mistake. Um, yeah, so about the sewing, I will be sewing on a sewing machine. Usually with knits like this, I feel like people hand um, stitch like the finishing. Um, I didn't go to like a, a knit specific university course, but I did do some knit classes and every time I did a knit class My teacher would say that you you're supposed to hand stitch Um, because you do like an invisible stitch, whatever. I don't have time for that. So I will be doing it in a machine It's okay. It will stay, but it's not ideal So let's do this Also, look at my puppets. They're colorful you go, bestie, you go. It's not that weird. It's a little weird. I will give it to you. But it's not like the worst thing. I left this ones here and here open just so that I can... Here I just will close by hand because it's too thick. And this I will close by hand but I put, I put an elastic before very very fucking big problem it won't fit it will not fit um 
which sets me back a whole like three to four hours because I will have to unravel everything, this front panel, and just kind of redo it. I don't know why I'm like not crying. I know now that I will not be able to finish the three looks because I'm set back now. But I don't know, it's like the, a trusted journey process. I didn't really like make a proper mock up. So, you know, this is bound to happen. <laughs> I just really screwed it up. But that's okay. What I would do, I like the overall shape. So I'll keep this, I'll just kind of um, increase a couple of needles. And when I'm back from the this cutout, I will go further so that when I get to the boop part, it doesn't get too small. Oh so, yeah, I'm sat back a few hours. I will unravel this and redo it because at least one look I'm finishing. Okay, so you just saw me seam ripping the side seams um, that I had just done. And now I'm unraveling the whole dress that I just did. And I'm doing that because I can reuse the yarn. And I love this about knitting, you know, I love that I can do something and if I hate it, if I'm not going to use it, I can just like take it apart and reuse the yarn so we have like very minimal waste and I can use it, you know, as much as I want. Even though I got to say, when I continue, like when I re-knit the front panel, I did use the pink yarn from like the cone that it was in because this pink yarn is a little fragile, so I use it brand new instead of the respawn version but i will use that respawn version for something in the future just i don't know what but i will use it hello <laughs> what we think what we think um i made it bigger it's later in the day what do we think? I definitely love it. Um, there is a few, like, there are quite a few pattern problems that I would change. Like, if I would do it again, there is much to improve. But for, like, wearing it tomorrow, it's amazing. Um, with the cutter, there's definitely a little bit of an issue here. Like, see, it goes like this. I will seam everything and see how it looks with it like this but i might just need to do this like little dart here which is okay it's okay it's okay it's okay um and also i will be doing the the ribbing in on the top i also think i'm thinking about while doing the um, the ribbing on top um i might just put in a little a few like loose threads not loose threads but like live like a string of a little bit of knit I don't know how to explain that I will show you if I do it just so that I can tie it up here and like for it to be more secure in my body um, and I might do that but yeah like I'm very happy I'm very happy this is me struggling a little bit with the yarn that it started to get caught on itself but anyway this is the um, ribbing for the bust and I did in fact put the spaghetti straps and I, uh, I knitted them within this ribbing so because i did that the ribbing started to get a little bit worn off because i got the carriage and started like knitting a lot to make the spaghetti strap um and it got this kind of worn out little look over there but that's okay because i was doing it with the orange yarn and it was a very sturdy yarn this is going to be folded within itself so it's not going to be seen from the outside so this is me just attaching it like attaching the the bust strap with the rest of the dress um and yeah this is me with the dress done and you can see the spaghetti strips like hanging loose this is it what do we think i just need to close here but i'll show that tomorrow when i like i'm all done up i don't hate it but i don't love it i guess I guess most of it comes from the hole <laughs> in the side. I thought it was going to be like a very cool stylistic choice. But now that I did it, I don't love it so much. But I think, honestly, I think that it's because like when I first thought about it, I thought it was going to be like up here, right down boob, like right here. 
and I think that would enhance my body better. But with the, this bit, which I don't regret doing because now it's like a decent length, it goes down, this cut out, and it goes like right by my hips. And I'm kind of very self-conscious about my hips, they're kind of white. Um, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't really enhance my body. Whereas it, if it was here, it would a little bit more. But I don't know, I'm gonna use it anyway. I like it, I mean, I like it, but um, I feel like I'm not 100%, you know what I mean? I'm just going to finish it up and- I just wanna say before I um, stop talking, I don't know. I found some elastic, which means I will not need to go out tomorrow morning to buy elastic and i will like finish this today so at least i will go to sleep with tomorrow's outfit done 100 percent done so that's it good morning guys how are y'all doing um i'm out of my delusion that i would finish two more outfits for a festival that starts today and it goes from like midday all the way to like 10 11 in the um night um so yeah um part of that is because i just kind of got a reality check and the second part is because i actually got to doing something else in this dress that takes a lot of time and i actually didn't finish it yet so obviously i didn't touch on the other dress uh not the other like pattern or anything so if i didn't start yesterday i'm not gonna finish right? but that's not happening because i didn't finish this and i have to do that now i have like an hour and a half two hours ish to finish this and yeah what i need to do first i need to i'm going to do that first because i need the machine i have to um sew in the elastic i didn't do that because i got into the other thing so for this i'm just going to insert this elastic here it's a little bit smaller than this it's just I measured it against my arm here and it's exact so like once I pull it a little bit to close it off it will create a little bit of tension and it will hold up better in my arm and then I think I'm just going to um, do a, a few like stitches just like on top just so that the elastic doesn't turn on itself um, yeah and I'm going to do that and then close off this bit is the last thing for the sleeves the sleeves are complete and then I had to finish doing this to the other side. What is this, you ask? Well, let me paint you a picture. I, yesterday night, I put my little dress on, a cute little DIY dress. And I went to my mother's room and I was like, mom, look at my dress. And she was getting her hair done. She was doing her hair and she was like, you know, and she looked me like this. She's like, you know, head down, eyes to me. And she was like, it looks ripped. You know, my cut out, um, little cute little cut out dress. She was like, it looks like it ripped. And I was like, it gave me a lot of insecurity because I don't think it looks ripped, but I definitely don't love the finishing. So I did something that I wanted to do, but I was like, I do not have time for this because I was still thinking that I would do the other two looks. That is to embroider the hole. So I did embroider it with this um, orange yarn that I have left over. By the way, I pretty much used this is like everything. This and like a little bit else is everything I have left of those three skins of yarn. So... I really did need the three of them. Imagine if I didn't buy any and I just used the like little bit of orange iron that I had. It would be a disaster. Anyway, I did embroider everything and I noticed, remember I said like this bit here was really bothering me because it just, it didn't look right. Um, I didn't take my time pattern making, we all know that. So I did kind of a little, um, a little um, dart here. You don't usually do darts and knits and like jerseys, things like with stretchy fabric because one, they look a little bit bulky. Second, like you should just tackle that in the pattern making. But I didn't do that, so I just do a little, I did a little dart here. 
um and i got it with the embroidery i just show like a close-up look so i did this and i did the the rest of the finishing i tucked in the rest of the yarn like you know the, the floating yarn that is falling down and now i need to finish the other side which i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish i should be but if i don't finish it i think i'll just um do it on the uber because i have to get a, a, an uber ride all the way to my friend's house and that takes like 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour and then i have to take another uber to the actual place of the festival so the first uber ride i can try and finish this but i want to try and finish before so i can go dress and like not have to like take my dress with me outside of my body <laughs> anyway um yeah this is the current situation i'm going to do this um embroidering and elasticing of my outfit that i have to wear in two hours <laughs> um okay so this is just a little invisible seam on the knit this is how you should like seam everything like shut close everything on knit you just kind of get your needle go side to side and then you pull it and it looks invisible it looks like nothing happened it's just you know something that's closed it doesn't look like there's a seam there and i love it i made it i finished it i managed to wear everything i would not have to be like doing things in the uber i'm very happy i'm just going to get ready and put on my Oh my god, I want to wait this, just a second. Okay, I'm about to wear um, 665 grams of cotton in my body in a 27 degree Celsius heat. Isn't that just amazing for me? I know, I know. Let's get sweaty! Okay, so this is the little part of the video where I thought I was going to do like a little get ready with me, a little makeup tutorial, a little hair tutorial, but in fact, I'm not that good with makeup or hair and I didn't really use that for lo that long because I didn't have time to really film myself using the dress with that makeup and hair um, for this video. Like this, the next fo footage that I'm going to show you is the only footage that I have like film video with me in that makeup, in that hair, in that dress. <laughs> and I only managed to film that because, well, it rained. It rained a lot in like the second show like in the second concert of the night and the rain was like epic it, it felt like a shower it was so strong and me and my friend we were without um capes so it rained a lot on my dress on my already very heavy dress and i didn't manage to get a lot of film out of me wearing the dress on the festival but i did film a, a few clips today so i will show them now to you but yeah, before I show that, I just want to say that when I came back, because I got so much rain on me, the dress that pre previously was weighing like 600 and something grams was almost a kilogram. It weighed almost a kilogram. I was holding to my body, just in my dress, almost a kilogram of dress. And that was epic. <laughs> but let me show you the dress real quick. I just painted my nails. And I'm scared to touch anyone. I did use like a little underwear that kind of matched the orange and the dress and I liked that and I thought it was cute 
like little side play, but you know, I don't know. I liked it. I liked how it looked, but I would have liked it better if I managed to do the slits up here. But you know, because I didn't really pattern make right, I didn't calculate the bust trap right. When I put it on, it went down. You know what happened. You saw what happened. But I was happy with the end results. Um, I got a few compliments on the dress, and yeah, it was a nice chaotic experience to make that dress that fast but i think it turned out great i'm looking at it it's over there i think i, I can wear wear it to some events some places maybe maybe when it gets colder and i won't like i won't sweat on it so much um but anyway this was my adventure in trying to make three dresses in three days to a music festival and I didn't do it. I failed, but I made one kind of cute one. Let me know what you think, what you think about the dress, if you like it, if you dislike it, it's okay. I don't think it's for everyone the way it turned out. Consider giving me a like and a subscribe in this channel. I'm really just starting out, so it would mean a lot. Also, here are my social media somewhere on the screen. Uh, consider me follow consider following me there. And yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that. And bye-bye. See you in the next one.